this video we have a vec we have a setter we have a basis for the n dimensional vector space v and little v and w are two vectors in v well it turns out that v equals w if and only if their coordinates of V and S is equal to the coordinates of W and S. Okay. So, let's do this. Let's go to the right. That is, we will suppose this. Suppose, with two P's, suppose V equals W. Since S is our basis for V and little v and little w are in V, there exists C1 up to Cn such that little v is equal to C1. Uh, v1 plus c2 v2 all the way up to c n v n but this representation is unique that is little w has to be that too just because we label them differently they're the same vector in v and they have a unique representation in the basis vectors for said S. Okay. Well, based on this, this implies uh, V The coordinates of V and S is C1, C2, up to Cn. However, if you look at this, this says that the coordinate of W in basis S also equals C1, C2, down to Cs. So that implies that, yep, the coordinates of V and S is equal to the coordinates of W and S. Now to go the other direction is straightforward because, let me use a different color, go in the other direction if we know this is true, well, I'm still saying that those two are equal. I'm just giving it a name. But this piece right here means, well, it means what's in red. It means what's in red. Okay. That is W is equal to C1V1 plus C2V2 up to plus C and V N. And what's in blue means this. So the implication goes the other way. I didn't do it in just one direction. It, it, it was strict if and only if every statement I wrote this if and only if that if and only if this okay so you know that completes the proof in terms of writing it was very short didn't even have to quote show it the other way if you like videos like this please subscribe to my channel if you don't like videos like this please subscribe to my channel most of all subscribe to my channel Watch and learn. See you in the next video.